Hello, it's Richard from Pond Guru Landscaping and in this series of videos I'm going to show how we're going to build this large wildlife pond at a school in Gosforth, North East England. Um, it's been quite expertly dug out by Deb Matt over the weekend and considering how rocky and horrible the ground is they've done a really good job. So all I'm going to do today is prepare the hole to take the liner. Since the hole is full of things like this, a lot of broken bricks, rocks, concrete, all sorts of rubbish, the larger lumps I'm just chucking straight out. The smaller ones, smaller ones, I'm actually just raking into position with a rough brush. Obviously if you had nice soil when you dug your hole, all you would do is get in with a spade and shape with a spade. But in this situation, which is very very rough, I'm just having to roughly shape the sides with a brush, possibly a rake, also a spade if I do hit a bit of soil if I'm lucky enough, and then I'm going to put a layer of sand down. That's basically it. I've removed all the big stones. Um, all the loose sharp objects have been taken out as well or compacted into new shelves. And the shelves have been cut more or less square. It's not perfect, but the ground isn't perfect either. It's horrendous ground to work with. Um, I've added a new shelf just below me here, which angles slightly back because this end close to me is going to be cobbled, a little bit like a beach, so that will help to retain the cobbles. Pond's just about prepared for the liner now, so all I need is liner, underlay and some soft sand. The sand will actually be used to help level some of the shelves, fill in some of the holes, and also cushion the liner. Let's take a minute here to explain why there's so many shelves in this pond. This shelf here is actually going to be used to build on. I'm going to build a dry stone wall on the inside once I get the liner in of course and the dry stone wall will come up to roughly that level and then on top of that there'll be a big sandstone slab so this has only been cut out to about two inches deep just to support the sandstone slab which will be cemented to the ground and to the dry stone wall. You'll see that in future videos. That just about wraps up preparing the hole. So in the next video I'll show you how I put the liner in and also what I do with the sand and underlay. Thanks for watching. 